afternoon everyone. It's 12 21 p.m. Sunday, July 29th. See, computer is a helpful reminder. <laughs> um, oh, I'm hot again. I don't know why I bothered to take a shower. We've been packing and purging some more stuff and filling up the garbage can. <laughs> Finding things in nooks and crannies. We forgot we had. That's what happens when you live in a house for so long. Um, my husband's actually cleaning out his toolbox. When's the last time any of you women out there knew your man to clean out his toolbox? Unless he's like my dad who, yeah, let's just say if I'm obsessive compulsive, I get it. I come by it honestly. Yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's what um, we um, have been doing today so far with our day. We're waiting for a business phone call. It is funny though when I was cleaning out some stuff and purging. I have a denim jacket that has lots of like little buttons and stuff on it and I really love little buttons that have certain sayings. I forgot I had this one and for some reason it never made it to the jacket. That looks backwards to me but hopefully that doesn't to you guys and if it does when I look at the video I'll flip it around. But yeah, isn't that funny? Uh, I do whatever the little voices tell me to do. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think it's pretty funny, so I'll leave it out and try to stick it on the jacket. Um, my work table's a disaster. I need to really clean it up. It is kind of on the agenda for today or tomorrow. But I want to get um, some of the purging and cleaning that we need to do done today and uh, while the husband is home. And tomorrow I can spend the day... Um, putting laundry away and cleaning up the art room and stuff like that. So anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday morning, July 30th, I think. I don't know if I said that already yet or not. I have no idea. I have no idea. The husband's working from home today and um, the painter has started painting the guest room. Um, he's there working right now. I've, I'm out running errands. So for some reason we had no green and yellow kitchen scrubby sponges anywhere in the house. I How is that possible? I, I don't know. So I had to go buy some this morning. I was almost out of facial face soap. And am I at the only one on the planet that knew that smoke detectors only have a 10 year shelf life? I have no idea. You're supposed to replace the smoke detector every 10 years. I had absolutely no idea. I think one of the ones in our house is from when we bought it in 1993. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, so I am headed out to go pick up smoke detectors. Hmm, yeah, so I did a... Um, In half a mile. Exit to the right onto US 101 North. There you go. So I did a pre-order on Target.com to pick up at a store that had the one in, I wanted in stock for the price I wanted. So I should just be able to go drive up there and pick it up and go home. And then have lunch and then we have fire extinguishers that are not rechargeable but expired yeah so they have to come off the wall and I've got to go down to the hazardous waste place again ay 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 anyway my whole week is gonna be filled with things like that so I don't know if you're gonna find it interesting or not but there you have it I'll be back do I really want to know why it always smells like poop behind the Goodwill at the donation station? Probably not. Anyway, that's done. I can go home and eat lunch now. Hi guys, it is Tuesday, July 31st, 11.25 uh, a.m. I only know that because again, I'm by the computer. Um, I spent the morning trying to get some errands done, sorting laundry. The handyman's going to be in and out today painting the guest bedroom. I was trying to wash the windows outside of the house and I got the front done, but when I went to go around to the backyard, I couldn't get the hose sprayer thing off the hose. 
it's just stuck on there I don't know I'm gonna have to have the husband see if he can otherwise I don't know because um, we have that Windex stuff you screw onto the end of the hose and then you wash the windows by the way it works like a charm and if I can find a link for it the product I'll put it in the description below for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about um, I'm zooming with some people today um, and chatting with them and um, catching up on projects I had to mix up some essential essential oils for me myself and so I got that done and I started packing some of my um, diffusers and things there in a bin up that way there we go in the corner right in the upper right hand corner um, <laughs> And I um, have been doing some cleaning and sorting, and I worked on a journal page. It's not the best page I've ever done. Let me show you it all. It out the way I wanted it to. It's not the best page I've ever done. I don't hate it, but yeah, it is what it is. So there you go. Anyway, we're also having some iffy connection issues with Zoom today, and my thing has frozen and dropped off a couple of times. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, I am going to eat some lunch and go get the mail in a little bit and that sort of thing and we have more people coming over for estimates today woohoo anyway that's it for the moment I'll be back good morning everybody it is Wednesday morning August 1st and technically it's still morning it's 11 41 a.m. <laughs> I know. I, I don't really think I've done a whole lot this morning. I um, don't have any workmen here today. Woohoo! The dishes uh, sink it has some dirty dishes in it, so I haven't done them. I haven't done any laundry. Um, I spent most of the morning talking to my friend Mike Deacon, who, if you don't know, if you don't follow him, I'm gonna put his YouTube channel in the description below. He did post on social media. So I feel okay saying so. Um, his house got broken into today. Well, like, while I was talking to him, he walked into his house and realized it had gotten broken into. Um, anyway, he's a graphic artist by trade as his day job, I believe. And I was asking him some questions about how to do a new animated intro for one of my, uh, an upcoming YouTube series. So um, he did help me with that before he found out his house got broken into. Anyway. I got that done, but it took most of the morning. I'm not like him. He probably could do it in five minutes. It took me, you know, two hours. Anyway, I'm going to go get some groceries and um, pick up the mail. I really, I need to eat some lunch, but there's not much here to eat. So I'm like starving to death. Well, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do that. And then after lunch, I guess I'll tack up the dishes. I emptied another cabinet. It's out here on the buffet of candles and stuff, which were there. There we go. So um at some point today i gotta decide what's staying and what's going yeah anyway all right i'll be back good morning it is thursday morning august 2nd 8 44 a.m don't get excited i only know what the date is because it's my birthday <laughs> that's all I got, I got lists, I got errands to run. We're gonna take some hazardous waste recycling in. I have another Goodwill donation. I've got to um, go pick up some window cleaner. I promised my friend Cindy Utter I would go over to my local Walmart and look for a particular um, thing for her new puppy. Um, she wants a backup toy. You know, when your pets or kids find a particular toy that they love, but they have a habit of chewing it up and destroying it, you get backups, right? Am I wrong? So anyway, I'm going to go see if they have the little toy for her. And if they do, I'll get one or two. Um, so fun, fun, fun. I do think we're going out to dinner later for my birthday. Um, my husband was so sweet. He bought, got me a card and a big giant bag of pretzel M&Ms. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, all right, so let's go get to getting and let's get our stuff done and yeah, well, let's hit the road.
everybody. It is Friday, August 3rd. I only know that because yesterday was my birthday. Don't get excited. And it's already 1 12 p.m. Just after lunch. I am obviously in the car. I was getting the mail. I spent the morning catching up on paperwork, trying to clear off some stuff off my desk while I still have a desk. And um, before we finish packing up more stuff. And um, then I started working on a journal page, which you just saw the clip of. Using some dotting tools, playing with some dotting tools I got on Amazon a while back. They're a lot of fun. Some of them are really big, but they're a lot of fun. Um, and bonus the way I used them today, I now also have collage paper, so love that. All right, obviously in case you didn't notice, I used the beach theme colors. I love the beach, which is funny because I don't live near the beach, I wish. Um, anyway, what else? I got... I don't really have much to do today, so thank goodness. Um, I'm just catching up on laundry, and I've got some stuff to do around the house. I've got some sketches to work on, <clears throat> but nothing earth shattering. No workmen in the house. Yay! Um, I'm just tired of the chaos and so many people in my house, but anyway. Husband's working from home today, which is nice, and, um, I think we're gonna just have a quiet evening at home. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. <clears throat> we're trying to eat up some stuff that we've got in the freezer, so I'm gonna cook up some chicken tonight. Chicken and black beans. And um, yeah, just a quiet, chill day. Nothing wrong with that every now and then. It's kind of weirdly hot but overcast and hazy today. So I don't know if it's just the weather or if it's because so many things are on fire in California right now. I don't know, but the weather's really strange. Yeah. So that's a thing. All right. That's it for the moment. Headed back to the house. So I will be back at some point. So this is how the page turned out. I really like it. It was super simple and just has the one phrase on there which I love and it's just a study in mark making and movement the way I put the marks on the page I love it just breathe never truer words were said hey guys it is Saturday afternoon August 4th. I only know that because I looked and it's already 2.30 in the afternoon. 2.30? Really? Oh no, sorry. 1.22. 2.30 is how many miles to empty I have on my gas tank. <laughs> so it's 1.22 p.m. Um, just after lunch. I just finished lunch. And my husband is working from home today. He's on call today for his job and spent the morning doing some more packing and sorting and purging and putting up new smoke detectors. I think I mentioned before, and if I didn't, I meant to. We found out recently that smoke detectors have a lifespan, a 10 year one. Where was I and how come I didn't know that? One of our smoke detectors was from when we bought the house in 1993. As of today, they're all brand new as of 2018. So, anyway, that was interesting. So, and we have all new ones today. Anyway, I might have mentioned it before because I had to go run across town to go buy smoke detectors. Anyway, they're all up now today. So, we did that and we did some more packing and purging and He's been working and stuff like that, and I was working on cleaning off more stuff off my desk, and I've got an Etsy order that's got to go out. 
I went to go plug my Kindle in last night. I read every night before bed and usually it's on my Kindle. Every now and then I break out an actual book book. Um, but it's usually my Kindle and I went to go charge it in. <coughs> Sorry, plug it in to charge um, right before I went actually to sleep sleep and my charger was all like like bent over like this. I don't know what the heck happened. No idea. Um, I had a back backup in our travel stuff, so I went and dug that out and then plugged it into that. Of course, by the time I did that, I was wide awake and had to read some more before I could get sleepy again. Yeah, but you out there who suffer from insomnia or are menopausal will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, so. <laughs> I'm going to go get another charger. I'm going to go to Staples before I go to the um, mail place. I want to get, I need some clipboards, just plain clipboards, and I also need um, a Kindle charger. I want to see if they have one before I order one on Amazon. I do have some credit over to Amazon, but I'd rather save it and use it for something else. And if they have it at Staples, I'd rather just get it at Staples. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and I've also been doing laundry because, you know, Evidently, we wear a lot of clothes and we're dirty people because it seems like we always have laundry to do. I don't know. I don't get it. <sighs> anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Oh, it's hotter than the hell out, out again. It's 96 degrees right now. Feels like 106. I know it's not the hottest place in the country, but it's pretty warm. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening. It's after 10 o'clock and it's been an interesting day. We did a bunch more packing and <laughs> my, my poor office, I can barely get in here. Um, and my desk is empty. The drawers are, oops, where are we? There we are. The drawers are all like completely, I don't know, right? So anyway, um, I did get a journal page done though, and we got some things done we need to do around the house. And the husband was working from home all today. He was on call uh, for his company from home today. So now we think he's off for four days so he can work on the honey-do list. <laughs> anyway, it's been an interesting week. It's been an interesting day. And yeah, so we're going to just keep moving forward. But I hope you've all um, enjoyed this little glimpse into what's going on around here. And if you haven't already guessed, um, news about exactly what's going on will be coming soon in its own special series. If you are following Intervals of Sanity, the um, um, other YouTube channel I'm doing with some friends of mine, it's a non-art channel, at least not necessarily an art channel. It's more of a chat about life, maybe art, frankly, honestly with humor and love um, channel so anyway I will put the link in the description below check it out there's a few it's a live we only do lives over there we do save them on the channel so you can watch them later and we've already done one on menopause and uh, one on um, the Google home thing that one of a couple of my friends have I don't have one but yeah um, anyway I'll put the link in the description below I forgot where I was going with that. Um, oh yeah, so if you're uh, watching over on that channel, then you already know about what's happening um, here on this channel. You don't, but you guys are getting your own series about it coming up soon, um, towards the end of August, um, beginning of September. I'm working on editing the clips now. And um, yeah, so anyway, that's a lot going on. Um, but it's a lot of good stuff, so. I hope that you're having good stuff happen for you too, and if you aren't, how can we make that happen for you? What do you need to do differently? What do, you know, people need to help you with? Yeah, I don't know, but let's make it happen. Anyway, have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. Make your life what you want it to be. Find your truth, and I'm good with that, as long as you're doing right for yourself. That's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos. And that's it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.